Mickey? Why do you have to be so cruel to me? <laughs> well, hello there, my little freaks and geeks. Why don't you come follow me into my room, okay? Yeah, welcome to the bedroom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bam. How you doing? Well, welcome up to another video here today. And as I recall it, today is Wednesday, January 4th, 2017. At least that's what you guys think. <laughs> okay, so um, I figured I'd just start doing story mode, you know, like Minecraft, only real life and no axes or shovels or sword play. Anywho. So, let's start with a little story. Let's start with the day I was born, which was not really that much of a story because I don't remember it. See, we're done with that. Story's over. Okay, but let's talk about my earliest memories, okay? Um, now, after I was born, when I was just still a, a, an, an infant baby, I was born in, in Augusta, Kansas. And my parents moved to Oklahoma. And they lived in uh, Arapaho for quite some time. And then... Burns Flat in Arapahoe again, I think, or Clinton, somewhere, before they finally moved to Oklahoma City, which is where I grew up in. Well, my earliest memories is in Arapahoe. Now, I started, I started a kindergarten when I was in Oklahoma City, and I started like a year late because I acted like a, I had a fuss on the first year. But it was, you know, before we moved to the city. Uh, we still lived in Arapaho, and I remember a few memories from Arapaho. I remember um, a couple of neighbor kids that lived a few, I don't know if they lived down the street or a few blocks over, but their names were Corey and Audrey Day. And if 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 y'all are like watching this, you, you li grew up in, you know, Arapaho or sometime, if your name is Corey or Audrey Day, hey, <laughs> hit me up, okay? We miss y'all. Um, my earliest memory at the Corey and Audrey's house was um, the first time I got to see a glimpse of the never-ending story. And uh, I uh, I remember walking into their house with my brother and my sister. I was, I was able to walk and talk, but, you know, not like, you know, can't be out on my own, of course. But uh, uh, I remember going into this house, and I see on the TV the clouds and stuff and a song... And I'm like, oh, wow, cool type thing, you know. And my brother and sister are like, you don't want to watch that. It'll give you nightmares or something like that. But I kind of now realize that it's a different nightmare. And that's a different story altogether. But I do remember Corey and Audrey. And Audrey was the first girl I've ever kissed, or so my sister claims. She thinks that me and Audrey would go outside the kitchen. And we'll, like, be on the back, at the back of the house doing like a kiss hug kiss hug thing you know it was like like a kiss hug kiss hug kiss hug type thing don't know how you know I, I don't remember it but apparently she was the first girl i ever kissed and i was not even man, I, I didn't even start pre-k before i had my first kiss so screw the rest of you dudes you think you can score sooner than your friends anywho so uh yeah um i won't have to edit this video out Oh, in my earliest dream, I had a dream, earliest nightmare, in fact. The earliest dream was a nightmare that I had in Arapaho. We lived in a house, and um, there's a house in a driveway right next to it, and all the way back of the driveway behind the house is a garage. And if you're living outside the country, it's probably a, a what they call it, a garage, or ga garage, they call it a garage or whatever. Garage. Anyway. To Americans, we call them a, a garage. Anywho, um, no, I'm not trying to make fun of anybody. I just happen to see, you know, YouTube videos of guy, you know, when they're playing Minecraft and this dude calls it a garage instead of a garage. It's hilarious. Anywho, I'm sure we're just as hilarious to them as they are to us. But hey, I like British humor. It's awesome. You know, <laughs> Simon Pegg, you rock. So anywho, uh, this the dream I had, this nightmare is uh, me, my brother, my sister, and this girl that was living with us. Her name was Donetta. Uh, in my dream, 
uh, we see the garage on fire. And we're running in through the living room. And as we're running through the living room, we're telling my mom, 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 Dad, there's a garage. The, the, the fire, the fire's in the, the, the garage is on fire. My mom, now she's saying what to us. She's looking, she's like, what? What? But there was no sound coming out of her. You just see her going, you know. And uh, so the kids ran out of the, uh, the front door and they turned to the right. I got the front door, I turn, and I start running, right? And as I'm running, like, it's like I'm being stopped by this force. Now I'm, like, running in place. And I hear, like, this deep, dark voice, okay? It's not Vader or anything, Darth Vader. But this deep voice says, don't go, Jonah. You know? And uh, that's all I remember. That's all I remember in that dream. And that's the earliest dream I had. And that's somehow that it affected me, you know, because... uh. Uh, not too long after that, um, my mom was out of town on work. My dad and my sister were working on his car. Well, she wasn't working on it. She was just, like, watching him working on the car. Um, but I do remember that I was sitting uh, in the house. Or I'm walking in the house. And I look on the walls, and there's family photos on the wall. And I see one of my sister. Okay, And my sister looks at me. And waves, hello, Jonah. Yeah, that, that, that shit was real. So I, I ran out of the house screaming. Saying, the picture's alive, the picture's alive, you know. And my sister, to this day, she thinks that I saw my mom say that. But no, I distinctly remember it was my sister. But, uh, anywho. Um, that's about it for that story. Uh, don't remember much other stories in Arapaho other than those two that I just shared. Um, however, my sister did tell me one. She told me one how she liked to get me in trouble. She would, uh, tell the, um, she would tell my mom, she would do something stupid to herself and then tell mom and dad that I did it, okay? One time, my sister was, uh, playing out in the yard, and we had one of those, like, uh, we had a rock, kind of looked like, um, not a boulder, but it was like a, it was like a nice size of rock, you know? And she put like a, a two by four on it to make it look like a, a teeter totter, right? Well, on one side of the board she had a, another rock, and what she did, she went on the other side, and she stomped on it. She wanted to see the rock fly up and whatever, backfired because the rock came up and hit her in the head. Okay, and um, well, she goes inside. She blames me, and I got in trouble for it. And I don't even remember any of this. <laughs> you think that would be like one of the earliest memories of your butt whooping? No, it's a dream that got me screwed up. So anyway, that's what it is. And here's the hat. Here's the Minnie Mouse hat. Yes, that I am wearing. It's the um, it went along with the uh, the first video hat, the Mickey hat. Here's the groom. This is the bride. Of course, you can see. You know, um, when I was buying these at the etc. shop. Uh, there's a lady up there working there. She's like, I could have used those for a play that we did. And so I don't know if it was a church or a school or whatever. But, uh, <laughs> anywho. I got them. They were like a dollar fifty each. No, wait. Fifty cents each. That's right. Fifty cents each. That's how I remember. Yes, yes. Good old days. Good old days. So, uh, yes. Um, story time is now over. Maybe some of these days throughout the videos, I'll start going through my stuff. I have tubs. Of stuff that I need to go through. In fact, if I take you in here, I have these tubs that I need to go through. Okay, and um, I figured as I go through them, uh, you can see what I have, what I own, what I do in my life. You know, but that's the kind of thing. It's like a kind of like an unboxing thing, but more like you know, <laughs> sharing memories. Anywho, in that case. Um, so, uh, other than that, I can just show you this right here. This is my dad's little trinket, little knick-knack of Wilson from Castaway. My mom got that for him, or it was in a, I think it was in the DVD, uh, case that we bought. We bought the DVD of Castaway, and I think that was part of it. So, um, a little lighter. So this is a little lighter, though. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? 
little slot machine lighter. My mom was a lighter fanatic. She collected lighters and my dad did too, I guess. Um, but uh, I took like some of the collections after my parents passed away and I was moving out and me and my sister kind of going through the parents' stuff and whatnot. I got what I could because I know my sister, she just wanted everything, you know. But one thing I did get is something she can never pay because I know she would like sell this stuff or pawn it, you know. I would never pawn something like this. This is an old German Stein right here my dad got when he was in Germany in the service. And uh, my dad was a telephone operator. Speaking of telephones, how odd is this? North Dakota. Hello? Please stop what you're doing and listen to this very important message. In the next few yep. seconds, Hello? I'm going to give you access to a pre recorded message that Sir? will show you how to put $10,000 or more Sir? in your pocket in the next 10 to 14 days. How'd you get my number? $10,000 Sir? or more every 10 Sir? to 14 days after Sir? This message Sir? will absolutely blow your mind. Sir? So press one right now. Shut up and I'm not pressing one until you tell me how you got my number. Sir? Days. Sir. 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 Sir, shut up and listen to me. Sir. Sir. I'm not pressing nothing until you tell me how you got my number. I don't release my number to North Dakota people. Look at that, North Dakota. Right there. I'm not pressing nothing until you tell me how you got my number, dude. Are you there? Please stop what you're doing. No, you stop what you're doing and tell me how you got my number. Dude. Dude, no, uh uh, no, tell me how'd you got my number. You see that number right there? Who's that? Who's that? 1 701 929 9821 from North Dakota. You ain't blowing no one's mind or anything else until you tell me how you got my number. Hey! 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 Shut up, no, I ain't pressing one nothing. I ain't pressing nothing until you tell me how you got my number. Dude, how'd you get my number? Hello, sir? Sir? You still there? Hello? Sir? Are you retar- You hung up on me? He hung up on me. That. Mm. I hate it when people call me and they don't tell me how they got my number or anything. They just want to talk like they think they just hey, own the phone or some stuff like that. Oh my gosh. Anywho. My dad was in the service and he was a telephone operator in communications. And just heard Cody get hurt or something. But uh, yes, it's old German uh, words on here. Um... I searched them up before, and I did a translation. I forgot the translation so far, but um, this is uh, yeah, this is a, this is worth some money. But it's not for sale, and I'm not ever going to pawn it because it's my daddy. This thing is priceless. So I'm going to set that back up, and you know, I'm glad you guys got to see that phone call because <laughs> you know that's been one of the YouTube videos I've been wanting to put out. But you can't plan those calls. You you just can't. You know, so I'm glad you guys got to experience that. Um, that's something I do all the time, and I make my, my roommate laugh about it all the time. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, you got you got it. That's going to be the new title of this, you know. So, um, so yeah, I guess you got entertained right there. And, um, yeah, like, subscribe, favorite, share it. Tell your friends. Um, don't tell your friends. Just, you know. Maybe you should write a little note to them so you don't have to say anything coming out of your mouth. You know, like other people think that, you know, he's saying shit about us. I haven't said anything. I typed it. There's a difference. There's a difference between typing and saying. See, some people aren't too bright. So, and uh, <laughs> you know who you are. <coughs> so, anywho. Um, like, subscribe, share, whatever. Uh, keep watching this video, put it in a loop. You know, you don't have to watch it, just put it in a loop so the ads can play, the video can play. I make more money for it, you know, so yeah, help support this channel, help support my addiction to making videos for you. So, yeah, okay, help support my hat addiction. Yeah, I love these hats, yeah. Want to see more hats? Click that like button, 
share this video and watch it over and over and over. Yes, more hats. I'll be the crazy hat man. Hat man. Yes. Okay, I'll shut up now and let you go and be yourselves. Bye-bye.